Hello, you're very welcome to the Click and Go Travel Podcast with me, Kathleen, our lovely CEO, Paul Hackett. Thank you very much, Kathleen. Love <laughs> the to, lovelies. You love the lovelies. And today we are joined in studio by the fabulous Suzanne Rowe, who is the head of sales for Ireland in MSC Cruises, one of the most incredible cruise lines that you can possibly sail with. Suzanne, you are very welcome. Thank you very much. And it's a pleasure to be here. Lovely to have you with us, Suzanne. It is. It is. And today, for anyone listening there, we are going to be talking about this amazing cruise line well, I've done lots of cruises with Paul. You've done lots of cruises Tons, with. tons. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a great conversation. I don't know that there's a ship in the fleet that I haven't been on. <laughs> I think you're more experienced than anyone, <laughs> anyone out there at this stage. I, in fact, you could work for MSC Cruises. I kind of feel I do. Yeah, I kind of feel I do. It's just under a different name called Click and Go. Click and Go, exactly. <laughs> well, we'll jump right in. So for those who might not know about MSC Cruises, do you want to give us a little bit of background on who you guys are, Suzanne? Well, MSC Cruises, uh, which means the Mediterranean Shipping Company, was established many, many years ago. But the cruising bit of it was established in 2001 and established by the uh, Aponte family, who are an Italian family who have their roots from Napoli and they are currently based in Geneva. But there's a very interesting story to MSC Cruises. Um, our um, our beginning is with cargo and we are the largest cargo company in the world. Uh, we employ 220,000 people. I bet you didn't know that, Gatti. Oh, yeah, 220,000 people. people in cargo. So that's really where everything comes from. That That's where the money is uh, in the cargo, 220,000 people. And what happened was um, Jean-Luigi, who is the owner, and his lovely wife, Raffaella, were on a holiday one summer and they used one of the cargo ships. They had many. So they used one of the cargo ships to have a summer holiday. And the wife said, oh, this is just really, really nice. Now, I'm sure the cargo ship wasn't gorgeous. But anyway, <laughs> uh, she said, you know, uh, would you consider upgrading this and making it into a cruise? So basically being a dutiful husband he said no problem and he completely revamped the cargo ship and that was how we were born uh, that was our first cruise ship and uh, that was 21 years ago and can you believe it 21 years on we are the largest privately owned cruise company in the world which is an amazing story so i'm, I'm hoping my husband will will we'll, uh, do something similar for me and, and, and refurb a, a beautiful ship, you know, but it, it, it is a lovely story and that's how it was, uh, that's how it was formed. It's Isn't incredible. it a brilliant story? It is. It is. It you is, know, because yeah. I think everybody who's listening would know the name MSC yes. because they would see the cargo containers, the yes. shipping containers yes. everywhere. Um, and it is, I think, the largest cargo it's business the largest, in the world. COVID actually was very good to us um, in that... Um, Obviously, everybody was shipping things all around the world. So we, you know, bought over Maersk and we bought over a number of other companies. And that, as a result, made us number one in the world, which was fantastic. And an interesting fact, and actually, Paul, you brought this to my attention. Uh, during COVID, we had a lot of trouble getting into ports. So they just decided to buy 50% of the ports in Europe, which makes our life an awful lot easier when it comes along to itineraries and planning because we have access to a lot of the ports. So there's many, many strings and bows to MSC. But uh, when people think of it, they say, what's the MSC? They think it's more ships coming, but it's actually a um, Mediterranean shipping company. And that's where our roots are from. Lovely. And it's like it's an Italian business. Mm -hmm. um, it is it, it has a very Italian feel in terms of style and flavor. And the other piece I think that always comes across in our dealings from a work point of view with MSC, and even when you're on board, is the family owned piece. Yeah. That yes, this is this is privately is, owned. This is a private is business. Very, very important. And actually it's funny, I was saying to somebody yesterday, I was just saying to you, Paul, that I was uh, in Cove, I was on one of our uh, more classical ships, Preziosa, and they were asking me, what is it about MSC that you love? I said, it's the family. I really feel part of a family. Mm. And we all feel part of a family, all 250,000 employees of us. We all feel very much part of a family. Um, even the ships, everything is, is curated. Everything is uh, picked by the family. It's not mass produced. Every ship is very different. It has a different vibe. 
and they're very much involved with the whole uh, setup, uh, layout, and feel for the the mm. um, the cruise line. And you can see that we're not a multinational; we're privately owned, and you can definitely see the hand of the Aponte family on each and every cruise. I think that legacy then transfers mm. into the experience that you have on board because. Having sailed with you guys many times, um, and I haven't brought my own family on yet, but we are going next year, and I can't wait. Um, the the facilities and the focus on young young kids, right up to teens, and that kind of enjoyment together as a family on a holiday. There's no comparison. It is absolutely incredible, and the staff on board, and I've seen it firsthand. They just adore their clients when they're there. They love playing with kids. They love engaging with people. It's it's brilliant. It's great to see that legacy kind of come down through the levels and actually be the customer experience. <clears throat> I think I think the legacy piece is really important. Um, I think it identifies and kind of uh, differentiates the brand because it, it has a more European feel. You Definitely know. it has. And, and is it the only one of the major cruise lines, Suzanne, that is private? I think it is. Like The others is, are yes. all part of large the corporations. The others are all part of larger organisations, but it's it's... I feel it definitely is a very family orientated uh, cruise line. And and just to get back to your fact about um, the children, uh, children are very important to the, well, they're important to everybody, but I mean, to the Italians, they adore their children. And there is a huge focus on the kids clubs and the kids entertainment on board. So you will have experienced it, Kathleen, that um, we look after children from, from the ages of, two months upwards yeah uh, you can sail for in or around 200 euros which is unbelievable and children under two sail free uh, it's important to mention that we have children's prices up to the age of 12 and um, then we have additional um, reductions for children up to the age of 18 so it really is fantastic value for anyone wanting to bring children the other thing I want to mention is that we have key contacts and key affiliations with Lego, yeah, uh, yeah. Dora Me, <coughs> Kiko. So all of the um, products that you will need for a cruising, um, a cruising holiday, yeah, they're all available on board. I mean, did you find that when you were there? Yeah, the, the clubs are amazing. Um, and luckily I've got to tour loads of them on different ships that you guys have. Um, and the last time I was on board, I was with my mom last October, my sister, and I looked at everything from a family eye which I didn't get to do previously and the facilities like I even love that in the kids club for the really young young kids you can be with your children in the baby room that's and really they're nice, playing yeah. with toys that they have in your house so there's that familiarity mm. and I think that's really important mm. like just that familiarity especially for young kids who don't who might not understand that they're away from their comforts that you have a space on board for them to be able to enjoy that Previously as well, I was on MSC Bellissima and I absolutely loved the teenage club. Which yes. I got to, I might have, no teenager, <laughs> but I got to nip in there and spend some time and I just loved the space. It's very cool, very casual, you know, mm. video games. They had a really cool area for, I suppose, it would be discos and whatnot. They had a gorgeous kind of sensory room that I literally lay in for about two hours on a beanbag looking at like stars on a ceiling. That was before you had children. It you? was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you would be lying in there now. You wouldn't have time. <laughs> I'd be trying to sneak in. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, but uh, they they take every age into consideration, yeah. and um, it's very important that the children enjoy themselves. Oh yeah. Other than that, like, there's no point in going on a I holiday know. if the children are going to be hanging out here. And Suzanne, I think this is a really important thing for people who have never been on a cruise to understand that the cruise lines do far more for children, and they break down the children's age groups into the different kids clubs so you have like the right age group playing with the right age group and you know the teenagers with the teenagers and the babies with the babies and then the kind of three-year-olds to seven-year-olds with that group and you don't get that on a land-based holiday like you have a kids club and they might have two age brackets whereas the cruise lines have four at least kids club age brackets and they cater to looking after children and babysitting facilities from two to three months up. So the parents, like parents who have kids and haven't considered cruise, really need to come on board and get a feel for it. And I think that then is supported by the Kiko, if I pronounce it correctly, Doremi and the Lego Connections, because that gives people a sense of the calibre and the quality of the children's facilities on board. Absolutely. And Kathleen, you're going to see it next year. You have two young kids. Like for families that do cruise holidays, 
it's it, just it, it really is exceptional mm. and MSC again I keep uh, going back to the price um, point of it it's it's exceptional value so it you really can bring is. your child on board for <clears throat> 200 euros uh, sometimes less uh, 170 180 euros and that's all you can eat um, for the week and their children are minded you can drop your child into the kids club because you don't pay extra for the kids no, clubs you don't. so the kids clubs are you know, included, they're part of the overall package. And that's the other great thing I think about cruise that consumers need to understand. It's your accommodation. It's your travel from A to B to C all around. It's your gratuities. It's all of your meals, all of your snacks, all of your entertainment and all of the facilities. Okay, you pay if you want spa treatments, but beyond that, you know, and you, you pay for drinks amazing. packages, but it is so inclusive in terms well, of what you get. That's what I want to get across to anyone listening today, that it is the value proposition. You take a land-based holiday and you're going to be paying double what you'd be paying on a cruise. Absolutely. And the other advantage to a cruise is that you wake up in a different destination every day. So you don't have that hassle of piling the kids in the car and screaming kids and let's go from A to B. It's you go to bed. You wake up, you're in a different destination, and you only unpack once, which is the joy. Best. A joy. Yeah. <laughs> a joy. A joy. It's the best. So, you know, uh, so it's a no-brainer for me, yeah. uh, a cruise holiday. It really, really is. But the, the, the children's facilities are fantastic. They are. So and families are a key, sorry to interrupt, Kevin. Families are a key target market then for MSC. It's one of your big focuses. It's one of our big draws, uh, families. And we have one cruise line of the year for families. Uh, internationally and both locally and we are yes very 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 affiliated to the families and i would say for anyone with families most definitely yes but i don't want to rule out anyone no. else no yeah. before we move on though can yes. i just touch on one more thing that's important for the mammies and the daddies and that is the outside of the kids clubs it's throughout the ship as well there's so much that families can enjoy together or whatever yeah. thing that i love there's all the water slides there's the splash pools and um, i know um world america next year is going to have that amazing new area up top that's dedicated for families. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I'm talking too much this week. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think that's equally important to know yeah, that it's, yeah. it's, it's not just the kids, clubs. To Absolutely. the kids club, which is two stories, yeah. by the way, I've seen on some ships. Um, I sound like I work for MSC now. <laughs> That's two new recruits. That's great. <laughs> um, but honestly, I'm just so passionate about them. Um, but yeah, it's there's there's something nearly throughout the entire ship that you could enjoy. And another area that's great is the, the area that has the bowling alleys and the Formula yes. One mm. simulators and the 40 theatre there is so much there really is so much for them to do and uh, one thing i want to say is if they're going on an excursion uh, we tailor make the excursions to suit the family so that your uh, your excursion will be a little bit later so you'll go maybe at 10 o'clock as opposed to eight o'clock or nine o'clock um you will have maybe a two hour you know a tour very and good then you will rest. that's great i didn't know that yeah, i didn't they, know that i didn't know rest. that either yeah it's a big oh. selling point because a family of you know, with two small children yes. or three or four, <clears throat> yeah. they're not able for the long bus tours yeah, or, whatever, that's very or true. a walking tour. They wouldn't put them on that. So they do family friendly excursions and they send people from the kids clubs with you and they bring snacks for them and then they have nice areas to rest in. So it really is. They thought of everything. And one last thing I want to say about the kids areas are that if you have a child that doesn't want to go into the club, but uh, they want to be with their parents, we provide wristbands. And the wristbands, you can track them on your phone. Brilliant. Which is really nice. So you can look on your phone and say, oh, where is Johnny or Mary or whatever? And you can say, oh, they're over at the pool area. So it just gives you ease of, you know, yeah, peace of it's mind. It's comforting. It? It, it, it yeah. gives you that security. Because again, I think that's the part that might prevent people who haven't taken a cruise before. And then if you mention to them, they should go, you know, for, for a family cruise. Because I was out on at the weekend and I was just chatting to people always on message always you know trying to encourage people to think about cruise holidays and there was two young couples and they they both had kids and they're saying but like you couldn't take kids on a cruise and i'm like you are so wrong yeah. it is probably the, the easiest holiday, holiday yeah. the best holiday the most enjoyable holiday that you're going to have mm -hmm. i said if you take kids to a hotel you're still effectively going to be minding them apart from you know if they are willing to go into the kids club number one and and with the facilities mm -hmm. and the dining options Whereas on the ship, it's, it's an incredible. entirely different... I, I remember, I have twins, and I remember when they were um, 20 weeks old, we took them on a holiday to Spain. What was I thinking? <laughs> I, I will never... I'm actually Hold on, 20 going, weeks, 20 as, weeks in, as in five months. Yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 
I just said. And how many more children have you now? None. That's why. That's why. <laughs> that's why. That's it. That's why. That's, that's the learn. That's why TV Canada. <laughs> but I went, to, I went to Spain and I remember ringing my mother saying, I will never do this again. And we never <laughs> travelled again oh. until they were five and a half, six. Okay. Because I, I actually think I was so traumatised. Now, if I'd known that yeah. cruise ships could have I helped know. me, yeah. I, I would have gone on so much more holidays. And we get loads of people asking about, you know, where they have infants, you know, and under under two, under three. And a huge amount of hotels won't consider taking infants into a kids club until they're three. Some do, but they're hard to find and they tend to be, you know, the, the kind of more ultra luxury five star product. Um, so from a travelling with infants point of view, it is. And remember, up to it's where I had children. I, don't. I know, but up, up <laughs> to the age of the up to the age of two, remember, is free of charge mm. with MSC cruises. Mm. So but look, let's 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 come back a little and just talk. Like we've got the story which I love about MSC in terms of the family, because you you like because I work with the business, I get to see the family, and they are incredibly involved. So we have the family legacy, we have the family holiday piece. But what else is there that is unique or is is kind of critical to the MSC message or or really useful for our listeners to to hear about in terms of why choose MSC over why over choose other MSC? Lines? Well, first of all, I have to say they are Italian, so they're very much into their image, mm. and you can one hundred percent see that when you go on the ships, Kathleen. I know you're blown away oh God, by the design them. and uh, you know the beautiful. staircase, the Swarovski uh, staircases, and each step is worth thirty thousand euros. It's full of little crystals, and oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the layout of the ships, the design of the ships, and the finish of the ships for me that is key to why they are very special. Just the whole ambiance is absolutely magnificent. It's very roomy. It's very spacious. There is so much to do. And now every cruise line, there is so much to do. But really, I genuinely mean it when I say on an MSC cruise, it's it's there's a lot to do. Yeah, I mean, you go on for a week, <laughs> but you could be on for two weeks. You could mm. <laughs> to get through you everything. Know, yeah, you really, really could. Um, the standout for me as well is that. Um, from a value proposition, we have the best drinks package at sea. Yeah. I mean, we are 100% the best drinks package at sea. And that makes it so much easier when you're pricing up for a cruise holiday. It's it's very affordable. So that's number one. Uh, no gratuities. Number two, that's another big selling point. Mm, mm. Number three, no port taxes, which is another one. So um, I'm nearly selling it to myself now. At this so day. the gratuities are included. Yes. The, the, the staff get tips in terms of salary yes. payments from the company. So, no need, so they're covered. There's no need for you to to um, fork out any more money because that's taken care of in your cruise fare. Uh, there's no port taxes. And I think in general, the pricing, the pricing for me is huge. So the ship itself, the layout of the ships and also the pricing is superb. Also, our itineraries are really, really nice itineraries. Mm, mm. And because we have such an array of ships, we have smaller ships that can get into smaller ports. And that's that's really, really nice. The itineraries are constantly changing. Uh, we're constantly trying to improve things. And I think from that point of view, yes, the itineraries are superb as well. But the main thing for me is, and uh, I'm a bit vain, I, I love the layout of the ships. They're and stunning. stunning. They're stunning, aren't they? Yeah. yeah There's nothing yeah. going to blow you away like an MSC ship yeah, when you I walk on board. Beautiful. They are absolutely they really the are most stunning. glamorous ships they that you really will be are. on. I love them. And the staterooms are fabulous as well. The cabins. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. They're really spacious because, you know, if yes. you haven't been on a cruise ship, cabins yeah. are smaller than hotel yes. rooms traditionally. But you don't feel that you've got so much. Room no, they're so well designed. They're so elegant. Yes. Yeah. It's very, it's a very elegant cruise. It line really is. is. Yeah. yeah, really, very, is. very elegant, and they take a huge amount of pride in, um, you know, keeping the ships nice and clean. They're constantly cleaning the windows, cleaning the side. Like you, <laughs> I, 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 yesterday in Cove, it was hilarious because we spent more time looking at the guys coming out and getting, you know, the cleaning the side of the ships and and mm. the windows, and we were all fascinated by this because it's a. Uh, it's an operation. It really, really, really is. It's yeah. funny you say that because when I cruised last year with my mum, who had never been on a cruise before, and we went on MSC Sea View, um, we were in the Med, and our first port of call was Cannes, and we came in by tender, so you could see the guys working on the outside of the ship at sea, so when you're tendered, you're not docked in port. Um, 
and she was they were painting the anchor and she was yes. like that anchor is spotless and she's like that goes into the sea every day like she couldn't believe yeah. how much and we saw that all week so it's funny you said that because it literally funny, yeah. became something we watched and also <laughs> as well the italians are so beautifully appointed they're beautifully dressed i mean it's just stunning to watch them it really is so is the clientele more european when when you're on board when you're cruising with well, MSC? Well, it depends on the cruise uh, that you're going on. As I said, um, yesterday it was a Nordic cruise and it was very, uh, because it um, uh, the embarkation was in Hamburg, it was very, you know, Germanic. There mm -hmm. was a lot of Germans on board. It's not, it, it is the Mediterranean shipping company. So, yes, it's very important in Europe. However, we are really big in the US as well. Mm -hmm. Um, your Caribbean cruises are huge and also the Nordics is huge so we're branching out everywhere as I yeah. did say we are the largest cruise uh, privately owned cruise line and set to be the largest cruise line in three years time wow yes it's amazing it's an amazing story so the 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 style the glamour and the value for money is is, 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 a, is a core yes. message yes and that value for money extends then into the drinks package which sometimes Everything. is included or you can do as an add-on absolutely and at the moment we have a really good promotion running which um you know allows us to give on board credit which is fantastic so you can use that you know on board to buy one of your glamorous outfits or you can brilliant yeah so it it, it is nice we're constantly trying to change our message uh, making it easier for the customer to uh, decide to go on an MSC cruise. And then you were chatting there about the destination. So Mediterranean MSC would have the Mediterranean covered in terms yes. of all of the itineraries. We have 14 ships in the Med this 14. year. 14. 14, which wow. is incredible. Wow. Yeah, I don't think any other cruise line, nobody, I'm 100% I'm sure no other cruise line has that. So 14 ships in the Med. And then you were talking about uh, Nordic. So that would take in Norwegian fjords. Yes. And, and kind of the Baltics and Caribbean. Talk to us about Caribbean. So, and, and US originating cruise, cruises well, we with, with MSC. Well, two destinations. Uh, well, actually <clears throat> three, uh, because we just added another one, uh, Galveston, Galveston in Texas. And, um, but our big hubs at the moment uh, would be Miami, which is huge for us, and Port Canaveral. So we have a lot of, lot of mini cruises going out of mm -hmm. Port Canaveral and a lot of seven day uh, cruises going to from um, Miami. Just an interesting fact, this is how big um, we're getting in the States. We have a port terminal that we're building at the moment in Miami. And when it's finished, we will be able to embark um, 28,000 people a day. In oh Miami. My God. In Miami. I did a great cruise with you guys out of Miami and it it was what drew me to it was the itinerary like i love the itinerary did puerto rico i went and yeah the Bahamas, we did St. no Thomas. actually we did we did we did uh out of miami down to jamaica which i love one of my favorite islands the caribbean then on to colombia in south america oh, that was an unusual one then yeah. costa rica <clears throat> panama and mexico and back to oh, the caribbean was it was week. a stunning Ten wow. nighter because for me, yeah, Caribbean is lovely. If if you're looking for nice, you know, nice weather in the winter, in the summer, islands, beaches, all of that sort of stuff. But this was just really nice because it was out of Miami, but took in it the took Caribbean in very... and some South American countries. And you do quite a bit in South America. We do a, quite a bit in South America. <clears throat> but um, for me, for example, when I went on that 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 cruise, uh, we went to Miami and then we did Puerto Rico, which I loved. And then we went on to um, St. Thomas and then mm. we did, we had a lovely day then on our private island, uh, Ocean Key. That was amazing. That, that is like, beautiful. that is stunning. That's very much like, I, if you remember, I'm showing my age now, the Bounty Ad and it's, it's, it's a magnificent island, paradise island, uh, very low key, uh, very chilled, very relaxed and it's beautiful. It's, and there's a lovely story around that, Suzanne. I remember being... Is on the ship when when one of the MSC, Mr. Vago, probably was talking about, you know, it was an island that actually, you know, had been quite neglected. Absolutely. Um, was effectively decaying, was littered, was was really poorly taken care of. MSC purchased it. You're so into the sustainability message and the whole environmental piece in terms of MSC and cruising. And I think the whole cruise industry is, which is great to see because I think that's always important for people to hear about. But with Ocean Key, 
it was transformed Absolutely. into an environmental masterpiece. Do you know they used to, um, they used to <clears> use <throat> a lot of... They, 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 it brought a lot of rubbish to that island, you know, and the rubbish in the form of old cars, and they just let them rot. Mm. Oh my can God. you imagine? Was, can you imagine a whole island full of rotting cars and oh decaying God. cars? So it was, oh, it was in, it was in a very bad state. Like it affairs. was like it was like what we have in this country occasionally, where we have areas that become dumps. Yeah, that's exactly and, yeah. what you know, it was. It was like an open dump. Oh and the, the videos, the story of the island the and the story, story of the, of the business they, in the island is incredible. So they, they purchased <clears> it and it took them about two years to clear the island. And then they started um, encouraging, um, uh, well, trying to encourage uh, marine life to come back to the area. So they spent millions, actually I'd say billions, on, on, on recreating what it should have been many, many years before it was littered. And uh, we have... 28,000 different uh, species of uh, wildlife, uh, not wildlife, um, f uh, flora and fauna. It's wow. absolutely beautiful. It's a real success story. It's a it real is. success story. <clears throat> it is absolutely magnificent. And that white sandy beach, yes, the lovely palm turquoise trees, turquoise water, turquoise oh, waters, looks gorgeous. It's, it's stunning. So that that's a nice uh, drop off point for one of the days. And then uh, I'm just getting back to... And the then Middle East, you do quite a bit uh, itinerary-wise for... Yes. Now, can you believe that uh, Dubai is nearly like the Canaries? <laughs> Honestly, for the winter. For the winter. Yeah. Um, and I have to say, it is a fabulous destination. I've cruised with you guys from Dubai. Oh. It was incredible. Stunning. Bucket list. Absolutely the best stunning. experience. And it's tremendous value. And a great winter. Oh. So, like, it's so accessible with the direct flights out of Ireland. You're guaranteed weather without question in the winter time down there. It is fantastic. I cruise myself. You must think I do nothing but cruising, but <laughs> I cruise myself in February and we went on the 17th of February and I remember it was a rainy uh, day here in Dublin and within, I don't know, 12, 13 hours, I was sitting on the ship having my breakfast in the beautiful sunshine and the itinerary there was... Uh, Dubai the next day was Doha which was absolutely mm. fabulous in Qatar and yeah. that was absolutely stunning next day was Bahrain that was wonderful again and then we had a day at sea and then we had two days in Abu Dhabi now I have to say when would I get a chance to I visit see all of the yes. Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi that's it isn't and, the mosque amazing oh, I did I mean, and well. all in one week which was amazing Brilliant. which was superb uh, fantastic value I think we got mm. that whole cruise for about Sixteen fifty wow. per person, and that including was including, your that was my, including my flight, <clears throat> which is unbelievable for winter sun. So you think of what you'd pay going to a land-based holidays, uh, Canaries, Tenerife, one of those in the winter time. And look, I got, had an amazing cruise, all everything included in the price, and I got to see five different countries. Unbelievable! Wow. Yeah, wow. it was. Happy it, it, I definitely go back again, mm. and this time around, I wouldn't have to get off as much so it'd but I be think, much more relaxing. yeah and I think I think that's actually a very nice point to make that when you dock in port or when you tender as mm -hmm. you did in Cannes you can stay on board yes and, and they're and actually the nice days, days. And, yeah. because everybody clears out and you yeah. have the ship to yourself it, it is a really it's nice a really relaxing nice day. day it's a lovely yeah. day and also what they do in the spa I was you just get, about to say that they give you a, <laughs> they give you additional credit or they give you um, um, value you know, offers value yes. offers yeah. so for example mm. uh, just say you were having a face and you get an extra half an hour it's 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 really nice mm. I love staying on the ship on cruise days mm. I, I, love, really I love staying do. on the ship yeah, like I will enjoy. only yes. get off if I haven't been <laughs> yes. to the destination yeah. so that's why I want to go back to Dubai because this time around I won't I would have to get off you know just enjoy the sun just enjoy yeah. the sun you know but <laughs> that was one of my standout holidays that was absolutely truly amazing it and I yeah I, I genuinely mean it I would encourage anyone to go on a winter destination to Dubai brilliant Brilliant. Yeah. And where else out of the state? So you have you've Galveston, Texas, you have Miami, Port Canaveral. You also have a ship based out of New York, don't yes, you? We so do. so um <clears throat> MSC Meraviglia and that sells extremely well. So that's really nice. That's quite spectacular because it sails right into the center. Yeah, mm. It's really lovely. Oh, and wow. it's beautiful. That is a really popular one. So go to New York, have one or two nights, get your shopping done, you know, take in the sights. 
hop on the ship and then you're down to the Caribbean. It's really, it's, what a it's lovely. It is stunning. There's some great itineraries. Great itineraries. And we have, again, uh, in the pipeline, more ships coming. Talk to us about the fleet because yes. we're always interested. We don't want to get into how many and yeah. the different sizes. But, you know, what we are keen to do with with our listeners is not only give them a flavour for MSC, but get them comfortable in understanding that they can go to the brand spanking new ship or they can go to the older ships. And, you know, there's going to be that consistency of service delivery of the staff on board who are going to pamper and look after them, of the facilities on board. So it, it, you have like, what is it? You must have 20 we have 22 plus ships 22 at the ships. moment. Wow. 22 ships uh, <clears throat> across range of classes. And uh, when I say classes, so there are various, there's maybe four or five ships in a particular class. And... Um, Basically, we have in April of next year, we have another class of ship, um, uh, which is the World Series, and that is uh, that will be World Asia. So we had World Europa last year. Yes, launched World, in Doha. It was launched in Doha, which was quite spectacular. Uh, we have a World Asia, uh, sorry, World America. America. World America, I'm, I'm losing track. World America, which is launching uh, next year, next April in Miami. And then the year after, we have another world class. And then in 2027, we have another world class. So that's 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 26 ships. I have, to, I have to keep <laughs> refurbing in my mind. And, and, and yeah. this is like a cruise line that is just over 20 years old. Absolutely. Like, it's incredible. Phenomenal. We yeah. cannot <clears throat> keep up in MSC with what's happening. It's, it's go, go, go. But, but the consumer obviously likes the product, Suzanne. The con consumer loves the product. Yeah. Because obviously, you know, if we weren't doing well, yeah. we wouldn't continue to be yeah. building. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, just getting back to your point. So there, you know, there. yesterday, as I, I keep going back to it, the, the classical ship, and that would be part of the Fantasia range, MSC Preziosa. And we were just discussing mm. this, Paul. That is an older ship. It's 12 years old. And that would suit my parents, for example. I love it. I you love, love it. it. I out of all of your ships, that's my favourite class, the, the Fantasy class. incredible, isn't it? So Divina, Preziosa, Splendida, mm. Fantasia, spacious, just love them. Very, very spacious, mm. uh, very roomy, uh, very old school. I loved it. I loved the dining room. I loved the whole ship. Uh, it was it was very easy to manoeuvre, mm. whereas the larger ships are, they're nearly much more of a production. They're nearly like Hollywood, yeah. uh, whereas <laughs> this is very chilled Low and relaxed. relaxed. So, yeah. you know, having said all that, it totally depends on what you're looking for. Yeah. Are you looking for a relaxed cruise? Are you looking for the, the itinerary that suits you? What are you looking for? Mm. But, there, you know, I, I do, I, I can 100% say that there is a ship to suit everyone. Totally agree. Really Couldn't agree yeah. more. And I think that point, and we've we've, we've discussed this, this in other cruise podcasts, that sometimes it's the ship that is the reason for your mm -hmm. choice. And sometimes it's the itinerary mm -hmm. or, you know, the, a combination of the two. But talk to us, because like MSC, talking about fantasy class, MSC have one of my favourite things, which is Yacht Club. Oh, you love Yacht Club. <laughs> I, I'm Sir Boy sitting across from me. I, uh, well, five star at, at amazing prices. Yes. I love Yacht Club. It is just, it's the ship within the ship for MSC. Oh my God. It is just bliss. Like for anybody who can't see me, I just close my eyes and I'm right back there. <laughs> and it's, it's, you know, maybe there's 50 to 100, maybe 150 on the leader ships, cabins that are just in this, you know, designated area. You've more space, you have your own pools, your own jacuzzis, your own restaurant, your own bar. Your own butler, butler. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's very you know, important. <laughs> and and, and you, you have the priority check-in, you have priority on and off the ship when you want to have a, an excursion or a visit. And your favourite bit <clears> when oh, you yeah. get in the lift. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And you're on, you're on deck five okay. and you get into the lift. Okay, well, I tell people. Yeah, you can tell them. Okay, Go now, on. this is really childish. <laughs> yes, it is. I love it. So when you are Yacht Club, you have precedence over everybody else on the ship with your Yacht Club card. So it cancels all of the requests and it favours your request. And when a lift is called, all the other people are asked to leave the lift <laughs> so that you can get in. And then if you are in and you click your card... It you goes. go to your floor first. Now, I know that's really childish. I know. I'm stuck on floor sa it. deck seven because Paul is after his taking the lift on me to get up to <laughs> but it's, it's, the Yacht Club. I know it, it, it is a childish thing, but it's something but that it everybody something really loves. Nice. Everybody it is, it loves is a really that. nice touch. You know, like Yacht Club, from a price point of view, is not out of this range. No, it's, it's not, not out of a price range. It is incredibly good value for what you're getting because, you know, we all want... 
you know, maybe we want more space. Maybe we want to enjoy not so many people around and yet have all of the facilities because yeah. you just walk out of your club and you're straight into the entertainment, the theatre, the other restaurants, everything else that's there, the other pools. So you have the best of both worlds for an amazing price. An amazing price, but I think from your point of view... Um, other than the lifts now. Other than the lifts. <laughs> I, for me, I love the priority check-in. Oh. I loved that your butler met you. Your butler will unpack your clothes now, not that I, I want no, that I don't facility. That. But your butler is there. Very Irish. <laughs> your butler is there for you. And if, for example, you want to go shopping, your butler goes downstairs. Now, remember, this butler is in top-to-toe tails. Black tie. Yeah, black tie tails. Tails. Yeah. And the butler will go downstairs with you to the um, main galleria and they will carry your, your your parcels and they look after you and they will make sure that you're okay and they'll get your priority shopping. It's you feel a million dollars. You feel really rich when you're up in the club, don't you? Well, you know, the, the, I'm joking about the lift, folks. Like that is just me and my foibles. No, he's not. He's no, not, not joking. joking. It is true. Like, But it, it's not the only reason I do it. But what I love is... The priority on and off, you know I that love is that, that is nice touch. that is really nice. And the other thing is, when you're going to a show at night, for example, um, you normally say to the butler, "I'd like to go to the show." When your dinner is finished, he escorts you down to the area of the auditorium, and there is a special seated area. That's really nice as well. Mm. That's nice. So yeah. there's yeah. nice little touches. That it's you, you know, I think for, for again for the the cruisers and non cruisers. I describe Yacht Club as kind of business class for cruising. Yes. Except you're there for the entire duration of your cruise as against just the couple of hours on the flight. I always feel the flight's over too soon if I manage to get into a business class seat, which I don't do it terribly often. But like if I'm on Yacht Club, oh my God, you, to you have it for period. the yeah. seven nights, ten nights, That's whatever nice. duration and also, you're there. I just want to point out that all of your your drinks are free of charge as well. Every, everything, like your access to the spas included in Yacht Club, your mm -hmm. access, uh, you, your drinks package is included. Like it, so you, you, you get, you get lots. Champagne. Actually, I, I saw one scenario which I thought was hilarious um, when I was in Yacht Club once. There was uh, a young couple and they had their children with them. It's not restricted, um, so you can have children in Yacht Club. And they ha were having a bottle of um, Mercier, um, beautiful champagne, and they had a pizza because they fancied a pizza at lunchtime. And the butler went down to the buffet and got them a boxed pizza, brought it up, that. and they were having their champagne, and they had their pizza. That's so nice. lovely. Going, Look, oh, folks, like, so you know, we work hard. Um, yeah, we deserve it. And, and, and when you actually look at the value for money, like we should all be considering this. And on the newer ships, on the fantasy class, all of the cabins for Yacht Club are balcony. On the newer ships, it's a combination of interior and balcony. So from a price point of view, the interior Yacht Club are incredible well, as a price option. Anything from Oh, 1800, 1900, you can be very lucky. Mm. And, um, you know, a general yacht club would be in around two and a half thousand per person, which For a week. is fantastic. Mm. Now, that includes all of your everything, everything, everything. Absolutely. including your flight. Yeah. No, no, it's just incredible. I have it to say, it's, it's, we'll, it we'll, is a click and go. It is a click and go. No, I have to say, it is incredible, incredible value. But I don't want to put the people off that want to. Travel, no, 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 no. You know, on, for example, on the main ship, because that is quite exceptional as well. That, the value it there is, is yeah. just unbelievable. And, and we see it. Like, that's for us, like MSC is a really important partner for us in the business. And it is the value piece. And it is the, the, the product itself that stands alone. And like I have been in the main ship loads of times mm -hmm. and I have been in Yacht Club a few times. I just think as a product, it is if you're looking for something a great, a little bit special, a great value for money proposition. I think it's, it's, it's incredible value. So can we ask you an unfair question? Yes. Any favorite ships? Oh, well, I have to say um, my favorite is the newest world class and that is World Europa. I was just... I was just blown away by it. I remember you came back from that and you were speechless. Because I think it's the best of everything. It's the best of this, you know, the seaside class, the fantasia class, the Meraviglia class. It's the best of everything. I absolutely adore it. Adore okay, so that's it. yours. Kathleen, your favourite? Oh, my favourite class would be seaside class. Or even class. ships. So yep. I suppose because I was on Seaview in October, I'll say Seaview. But I'm going on seaside again in next year for the second time. 
but they're kind of the same because they're, they're sisters. The same, yeah, they're yeah, sisters. So yeah. I think that class in general, I just love the, the amount of outdoor space that that class has. Yeah. I love the lower pool <clears> deck um, as well as the higher one. I just, everything about that class, it just ticks every box for me because there's so much outdoor space. There's lots of places to enjoy a coffee, um, plenty of pool areas, uh, great entertainment. The seaside they're my class favorite. are the, uh, they, they've called those the, um, the ships that follow the sun. I totally get that. Yeah, because <laughs> all, it's kind of like they're outside in. You're, that's the thing. So all yeah. of the restaurants are on the outside and there's, and the inside space is much smaller. It is because you know it's more for the sunshine. They're lower down, as in when I say the the, the you know the the pools etc. So you're closer to the sea. Yeah. Whereas the Meraviglia class, they can go to the Nordics because you have the gallery running mm. right through the mm. centre of. Yeah. So it's nearly like a street. The I Galleria. do also love Bellissima, but which is in that class. So. It's in that class. So but I, I totally think it depends what, you, what your priority is and where you're going. Because yeah. if you're going yeah. up to the Nordics, you're certainly not going to yes. go on a That's seaside it. class. Yeah. You'd be yeah. frozen. I know. <laughs> Whereas World Europa, the, the, the world class series, I mean, you can go anywhere in that. Yeah. And, I, I just think it's the best of everything. I was just blown away. Wow. And my favourite, as I said, would be Fantasia class. And it's it's an older class. Of ship, yes, it is. But it is stunning. And I love the the indoor pool at the front. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's the perfect combination and it can go anywhere as well as the outdoor pools. But I remember the first MSC ship that I was on was Armenia. And Armenia. That's going back a long time. Yeah. yeah, it was in the Canaries. It was down in the Canary Islands. And, it, you know, it's it's a great product, great ship. It was totally revamped because what the cruise lines are great at is not letting their ships age. Yes. Taking them out of service, revamping, mm -hmm. you know, spending a lot of money to, to ensure that that ship is in keeping with the rest of the brand. So I think, uh, as we have already said, I think it is a case of a ship for everybody. Oh, there one hundred percent is a ship for everyone. Just all you have to do is get in contact with Click and Go. Absolutely, and they will. They will know. They're very experienced. They will advise you. So, anything else? What else? Like, what's what's the future? What any any exciting changes well, the or exciting plans? Changes for um, MSC is that we have launched another brand. Mm. Oh, it's yes. called Explorer Journeys. Now, I have to say that is stunning. So. We talked about Yacht Club. This is, we're going further into the luxury market. They, they, they call it, we're redefining the luxury market. This is a mid-size ship and um, it caters for 923 people. So if you're looking for something very quite intimate, spectacular, yeah. it is. Now, it could accommodate if, if, you know, it's like our other ships, but it could accommodate um, two and a half thousand people, but they're only allowing 923. It is a six star ship. It is absolutely a super yacht. It's it's absolutely beautiful. It's, it's stunning. Like, I was like I a was floating, on it last a floating year. hotel on oh, the sea. Amazing. Now, I'm and you were on it this year, so I was. I my I was speechless. It's it, magnificent. It is. It is out of this world. So that's what's new for MSC Cruises. Um, this is the third arm. So we have the cargo, then we have the MSC Cruises, and now we have Explorer Journeys. So we have launched our first Explorer One, and that's been in operation for a year one. Uh, on the 12th of September, we will have um, Explorer Two launching, and that is going to be incredible. And then that after that, we have four more. Wow. So six Explorer. And again, Explorer Journeys. what, like I was, there was, it was a travel trade event, so I was on with some of the, 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 the head people from MSC and just, again, that legacy story, that connection back to the family, the reason for the choice of the Mandara in the logo, the reason for the choice of the colour on the exterior of the hull, the involvement of the captains in terms of planning the engineering well, part. fair, isn't it? So that, you know, they were they were doing everything to manage the environment better and they were doing everything to manage the onboard experience so that, like, you're floating on a sea of bubbles so you, you even feel less, you hear oh. less of a buzz. It's just incredible. Like, the innovation in the cruise industry across the brands is incredible. But in, in the context of MSC, it is right back to the family. Oh, it's right back to the family. And I, I just want to say as well that sustainability is very much at the mm. heart of the family's message. And we hope to be carbon neutral by 2050. But an interesting fact on Explorer was that they put, Explorer Journeys, excuse me, they um, have a sonar uh, attached to the ship so that it, it, when it's gliding through the water, you don't feel as if you're no. even moving. And that allows 
for the dolphins and the sea life to kind of play around with the ship and come up against Very it. You know, so they're not afraid of the yeah, noise. Yeah. So that cost thousands to install, but it really was very yeah. important. And so I think that's, that's a really critical thing because cruise lines sometimes can be seen in terms of... Impacting not, the environment, yes. Impacting the environment. But if people take the time to get onto the websites, engage with those brands, have a look at their their content on the website around sustainability and environmental issues, they are not greenwashing. They are heavily invested. The last time I was on an MSC ship, or maybe it was Explore Journeys, there was the head of environmental and sustainability was on talking to us for two hours around the initiatives and the developments that were happening, specifically to address all of those concerns. So it's not it's not just talking the talk, it is very much walking the walk. Absolutely. Which is critical in terms yeah. of consumers. But Explorer Journeys, most definitely, if you're looking for something quite spectacular again, I would 100% consider that for the future. Brilliant. Sounds amazing. Excellent. Thank my you list. so much. <laughs> Suzanne, it was a pleasure to have you with us here today to discuss everything MSC Cruises. And we hope you guys listening as well have really found this um, session really useful and are ready to book a cruise. Of course, when that time comes, you can give our wonderful cruise experts a shout seven days a week. Um, our team are amazing. They are just as passionate as the three of us sitting in this room yes. right now. So you are in good hands with us. Um, and of course, you can always follow us on social media as well, where we're always ready to talk cruise. Facebook, Instagram and TikTok is where you will find us. So Suzanne, Paul, thanks a million. Thank you very Thank much, you Kathleen. Very much, Kathleen. Thank you very much, Suzanne. Thank you, Paul. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.